If you were in a classroom with just a teacher, would you get out of your body to start speaking about what you know and what you don't know? No. You would sit down and you would be a learner. But when you're in a classroom with a bunch of other students, you feel like you want to be, hey, hey, pick me. I know this and I know that. Google said this. Google said that. And I'm sitting here like this. And I see you raising your hand. But I'm that one teacher that sees you raising your hand and I just keep talking. I'm looking around. And then I say, hey, what do you want, Miss Patrick? And you sitting here mad because you've been raising your hand longer than her. You need to learn when to shh. And look, you done got mad because I was about to answer Miss Patrick's question. Now you say, hey, I raised my hand first. And back in 1866, uh, Doodle Bob's Jr. And you're going to say all this and say that. And I'm going to say, detention. Oh, no, but I got to go to practice. Detention. But I got to do this and I got to do that. Detention. Okay. You skip detention. Great. So now the principal finds out. Detention. ISS. You got all these things going on. And now I'm going to sit down and I'm going to explain to you how you're still a student and I'm a teacher. I got the degree. I got the certification to talk about what I went through and what I've been through. And also, it's my classroom. Uh, when I look at my desk, I don't see your last name. I see your monkey. So with that being said, what thinks you have the right to get up into my classroom, get a ruler and start pouring to the map like you're the teacher? A lot of y'all, y'all have a lot to learn. And you know, what you have to say might be important, but you need to wait till after the lesson. Uh, and even if you're not going to wait till after the lesson, talk where I can't hear you. So that way, whenever it's time to ask or write down what you want to say, so then you can say. But a lot of y'all be trying to say when it's not time to say. I'm explaining the formula and I'm reading the book and you just start saying, oh, well, on page 77, it says that we do. I don't even care if you're right. Now I want you out of my classroom because you think you run the show. A lot of y'all, a lot of people that do that, they don't even go on to be teachers. They go on to make Happy Meals and there's nothing wrong with that. Somebody has to do it. But look at you. You were never a teacher and you overstepped your boundaries. Now look at you and now look at me. Look at me now. I'm getting paper. A lot of y'all aren't teachers. You're students. A student can become a teacher, but an impatient student becomes an Anakin Skywalker. Ooh. Y'all don't know about that because y'all don't even watch Star Wars. But an impatient student will become Anakin Skywalker. You see, Anakin was on the verge of having his cookies, cake, ice cream, being able to eat it too. But he was very impatient uh, because he was in his feelings. Rightfully so because he was having, he had that whisper in his ear. Hypothetically, he had that whisper in his ear telling him thoughts and putting fears in his head that might have never existed. But because he was emotionally driven, he felt like he wanted to speed up the process. He felt like he wanted to teach his teacher how to teach him. And what did it lead to? His demise. Destruction. You guys be so emotionally... But no, you want to try to get off the square. See, a lot of y'all, y'all want to go do the squid games mentality, but you want to be the first one. You don't see nobody else before you get in the pattern, but you think, oh, I got this. I'm Captain Save the Squid. And you're going to run out there, and boy, you're going to be the best definition of, come, let's watch the rain is we're falling down. Oh, 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 sunlight on your skin when I'm not around. Don't feel the same and I'm just a clown. That's what you be looking like. Okay? you learn a lot more by doing Stand what they have, but they don't appreciate it, Goober. So since you wanted to play Family Feud and press the button before I even... Imagine if um Harvey Steve or Steve Harvey... My bad. <laughs> if Steve Harvey's sitting on the show and he's reading the prompt and before he even finished, can't shut up. Before he even finished reading the prompt, someone goes, do you know how Steve Harvey would look at them? And then imagine if he's looking at someone like he wants them to answer and then someone on this side goes, boy, Steve Harvey gonna do. And they gonna answer and he ain't even gonna respond. And then you say, let's go to commercial break. And I guarantee you when that show comes back on, he ain't in that, he ain't in that seat no more. Yeah, he gonna press that button and bro gonna fly out the building. That's just 100% facts, not an opinion. I'm just being real with y'all, man. Learn when to speak. But with that being said, man, uh, I'm gonna read all these comments. So if you guys have any comments, uh, dialogue that you wanna add to this particular topic, comment it now. And if you guys would like me to extend this episode to get more in depth on the topic or to talk about what you want to talk about, uh, send 500 roses. Work together. Make it happen. I know you guys can make it happen. You know what I'm saying? But if you don't, it's all good. I'll get on to the next episode on what I want to talk about. So I'm going to read all these comments, man. You can't lead without learning. Facts. Dang, you really put things into perspective really well. I appreciate it, man. Sorry for the Harvey Steve thing. 
You should check Snap. I'll bet I'm going to check Snap. Google said this. Quizlet said that. Google said this. Quizlet said that. Teach after you pass the exam and get your degree for it. Ooh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I got to be in math. That's what's up, Elias. But who asked? No, I love you, Elias. But I just had to. You left yourself open for that one. I'm, so, I'm happy that you got to be in math, buddy. Good job. Yeah. Vividly, yeah, Kane don't even know math. That boy don't even know uh, one plus two equals... I was about to say three. Oh, it is three. You didn't even know that. I set you up. No, I set you up because you just started laughing. No, I don't understand any math outside of multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction because the rest of that bullshit is you don't even use in real life. I don't know why they teach you that in the curriculum. It's ridiculous. I get certain degrees, you'll use that math for measurements and stuff like that, but why not learn that if that's your career path? Why spend, we only have so much capacity, we only have so much capacity to learn things, so why are we sitting here learning meaningless things that aren't going to go towards our degree? I never understood that. Hi again, hi. After this. Okay, so with that being said, I don't see no roses, and I don't see none else, so guys, I'm gonna conclude this episode, I'm gonna take a quick two minute break, and then I'll be back on with more topics. So with that being said, tap the follow on the bell button if you haven't already. I hope you live as long as you want and never want as long as you live. Peace. If I could press the button, right? <laughs>